to the channel it is a wet one today here in virginia it's raining current time by the way it's 1209 we don't mind it's about 12 o'clock got our first order of the day here picked up from chipotle 675 pretty low miles hopefully today will be a little bit busier because yesterday was a struggle so yeah but yeah so that's all i got for right now we're just we're just starting out hopefully we'll have a great day We'll see you guys and the order dropped off there from chipotle uh state of 675 then i found a parking spot did some more declining i'm like oh come on we gotta get something it's lunchtime baby and then this one comes along here from ginger ramen i think it's paying 925 a little under three miles so of course we jumped on that food was surprisingly ready I think a lot of places like this are probably gonna be busy, you know, ginger like ramen, you know, like pho places, you know, anything with super noodles, I think will be busy. Although I don't think like pho is really something they should get delivered. I feel like it's gotta be eaten at the restaurant. That's just my humble opinion. Um, but yeah, so anyways, now we're on the road here. Today's goal would be to leave Reston here, hopefully at least at 150, and then let him power do the rest. I'm trying to make 300 bucks today. I don't think it's asking too much, you know what I'm saying? So hopefully we can make that a reality. So yeah, anyways, we'll see you guys on the next one. Current time, by the way, 12.30, 12.30. This dash goes from 12 to 3, and the next one goes from 4 to like 9.30. So we got like an hour gap, I think. That can be a little break, whatever. So yeah, let's go. So we had a hot start here with the ginger ramen, 9.75. And then the one before that, Chipotle is 675, I think. And then it just died. I mean, it just died for the last 30 minutes. It's currently 125, and we just picked up our next order here from, from Chipotle. I would forget how much it was paying, but it was it was enough for me to move. Uh, so here we are moving. Food was ready. Um, now we're eight minutes away or three miles from the drop off. So just let me know how it's going in your market. It's got to be about the same, right? I mean, I think it feels slower now than it did during summer. Or maybe that's just my perception of it. I don't know. But uh, definitely not what I remember from last year. Definitely not. So I'm hoping that uh, at some point it turns around. Either that or maybe they got a bunch of new dashers, which is also a possibility, right? I don't know. You know how these apps are. They're like, they want to get everybody and their mom on the road, taking all the orders that nobody wants to take. But then, you know, somehow they're being fulfilled. So somebody's taking those orders, you know? So... Yeah. Anyways, let me get this dropped off and we shall see you guys real soon. Hey guys, Whew, it is chilly today. I love it. Uh, you know why I think it could also be slow? I was talking about it here with the manager from Chipotle. We just got another order here from Chipotle. Uh, low miles, low pay, or like not low pay, but you know, 625, which is my bare minimum. Or actually, more like 525 to like 625 is my bare minimum. But anyways, he's saying that they're already slow today because the town center has a lot of offices. But it's better this day, and most of those office jobs have today off. So he's like, it's been so dead today. I guess he forgot about it, so they they schedule a lot of people, and it's like completely dead. And I feel like that's also a reason why I'm not super busy today, is because of that. Because you know, we do I do deliver a lot to office buildings, people that are working and whatnot, and they're at home. You know, they're probably not ordering food. I don't know. But you know, people are still getting Chipotle. I think I've gone to Chipotle like three times today already um so yeah anyway so five minutes away here 1.3 miles this will put us in the 30s again the goal is to leave here at 150 bare minimum uh and then go do some ride share in arlington i don't know how busy it's gonna be though if it's gonna be raining um but people like always people always go out you know it's like um you know you know like i forgot what the saying is but it's, there's a lot of people here that live for the weekend like you want to you want you want to get to the week so you can be you can go out on Friday, go out on Saturday or whatever. You know, Saturday I won't be uh, doing any gig work at night because I'm gonna pick up some OT at the W2, which is you know guaranteed moolah and no driving. Well, if I do drive, it won't be my car, so that's always nice. So that's on Saturday. But yeah, anyway, so let me get this dropped off. We'll see you guys in a few. Alrighty, guys, we are here at Target for a ten dollar order, going three miles, and of course. It's one item. What do you guys think it's gonna be? <laughs> it's water, of course it's water. Because people order, you know, it's water. It's just literally, uh, let's see here, if I can, the app isn't glitching. It's a 32 pack of Deer Park water. And it's going to probably one of the worst buildings in my market, or in this market, but it's all good. 
because it's slow. So I wasn't going to pass it up, you know? One item, $10. Definitely not passing that up. So hopefully we can find the water pretty quick. Let me see. I'm just going to get a card just in case. Last time the water was right here, but this one is Deer Park. This is not Deer, this is like the Target water. Start shopping. Okay. And the water's right here. Oh, do you hear this deer, deer Park? Look at that. Somebody left me a whole Deer Park right here. This is it. This is it. Pretty sure this is it. Let's see. Start barcode. Yep, that's it. It took us 19 seconds to find it. Now we gotta go to self checkout. Oh, yeah. Hmm, I'm gonna buy something for myself here. Nah, maybe later. Oh, look, the water was right there. So, regardless, everything was right here. So, see you guys at the checkout. Seven fifty six for a water juice. Seems expensive. Let's see, we're gonna get a red card. E, just like that, just like that. From the payment. Ooh, look at this. I haven't seen this before. Discard the receipt. Uh huh. Well, I mean, I'm not gonna put it in faith. Then we're gonna scan this for fetch. You know, this cart sounds like my old car. All these noises that it's making. <laughs> like it's about to break or something. Anyways, we'll see you guys in a few. Alrighty, guys. So we're here at this building, Aperture, whatever it's called. This building is a maze, and I'm putting my little water in my cart, so I don't feel like carrying it. Trust me. Thank you so much. Thank you. Believe me, it'll be much easier this way. You're probably thinking it's just one water. Trust me, it's not. Hello. Ah, cool. Thank you. Just going to uh, 282. Okay. Cool, thank you. Hey, when you're into the building, please take the elevator to 2R, then take two lefts and one right. Okay, well, at least Vikram gave me some instructions. Let's see. I'm going to reply, got it. Okay. So we made the second left, and this will be the right that he said to make. I'm looking for 282A. Let's go. Perfect. Skirt. I'm gonna go ahead and take that photo. Oh, I don't have any signal here, bro. Toasty! Let's see, let's see. Come on. Completed. Hey, let's go. Okay guys, so they're dropping off the water there from Target, made it back to the town center. It's basically dead. It's the middle of the slow times, between two and five on a holiday. Um, and this dash ends, I think it's already over, but about four minutes ago, I accepted this offer right here, mainly because I was gonna run out of time, from La Miguelena Dos. This is like a little Spanish market that has like a little kitchen in the back, $8, 4.4 miles. It's not leaving me anywhere super far. And after that, this dash will have ended. But then I'm gonna still have like a 30 minute gap for the next one to start up. So this will put us closer to 50. So not super hot either, but you know, keeping the mile slow, you know, just kind of chilling basically. So hopefully uh, after this one, you know, probably get a, a small bite to eat, you know, trying to spend too much money either. Uh, and then just get back on the road. So that's the plan for right now, but we'll see you guys at La Miguelena Dos so I can show you guys a little more. The market's tiny, by the way. The market's tiny. Um, and maybe you'll find like some kind of snack or something. They got some good snacks in there, you know. 
from all the countries that represent like mostly like Central America and whatnot. Ooh, Grubhub is saying, what about me though? And you give me some trash, so forget you <laughs> with that trash offer there from Subway. Uh, and of course my phone is glitching, there it is. But yeah, anyways, we'll see you guys. Here we are, a la Miguelena Dos. Market and Carniceria Latina. It's like a butcher shop basically, but it does have like a little kitchen in the back. I'm sure the food's fire, but I've never had it, to be honest. Let's see here. If we can get the order picked up. Maybe. See. Yeah. Hola. Tienen una orden para Kayla en Dordash? Sí, ahí está. Okay. Gracias. Okay. 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 Muchas gracias. Yes. Pero no sé. Let's see here. Probably gonna go back in and buy something to drink real quick after putting this in the car. We'll see you guys in a few. The order picked up here for Miss Kayla from the Miguelena place. And then I went back in and I'm like, you know what? Let me already get my snacks for later. You know, you gotta spend at least five dollars for you to be able to use a card. So I ended up getting uh this mucho mango Arizona tea, which is 99 cents still at some places. Uh and then I got me some of these little plantain chips, two of these little bags. That should hold me over till later. And then I was down to like, I think I needed like a dollar. No, not even a dollar. I needed like 70 cents more. I'm like, what can I buy that 70 cents? And I'm just getting a pack of gum. That's like a dollar 79. I mean, you know, you can't go wrong with gum anyways. So that was that. And now we're on our way. We're five minutes away here from the drop off. This should put us, I think almost at 50. And then the, the, the gap should be minimal here. Uh, again, the goal is to leave tonight, to leave this area around 150, if not more and then continue the rest of the night and hopefully make $300 here today. That's the plan anyways. Let's go. Guys, guys I'm doing the last drop off. The dash ended, killed my little snacks, just relaxed for like 30 minutes until I was able to get back on. Now here we are back online and we give an order from Bar Taco. Now the comment kind of threw me off for their instructions. It's leaving my door, but she goes, please use a butterfly app. Or something like that. I'm like a butterfly app. I don't even, I don't know what's going on with that. So I guess when we get there, I, I thought maybe it was like a, you know, like a ring or something like that. But I've never heard of a butterfly app before in my life. So we'll see what happens when we get there. Uh, we're only five minutes away. 1.9 miles. Current time is 4:40. Let's go. Alrighty, guys. We're here. I've never been to this building before. So first time for everything. It's it's new. You know what? I think the butterfly app is like the little call service the, the little machine let's see please use the butterfly app outside the door so i can open the door yeah butterfly app there it is okay cool so we're gonna find the info and we'll see you guys in a few guys i don't think it recorded or maybe it did i don't know i could have probably checked but the butterfly app is the name of the app that you used to get into the building it's not even an app it's just a little intercom system or whatever but got that dropped off and then we got this order right here from paisanos Going to the building where I deliver the, the water at, and that building is an absolute maze. So I'm so thankful for the guy that had the water. His instructions were precise. This one, not so much. Um, so we're gonna have to figure that out. But yeah, it's just a little, it's a little pizza uh, and I think a drink, I forgot what they got. No, a brownie, a brownie. Um, so yeah, anyways, current time is 5.05, .05, and we'll see you guys in a few, perhaps in the maze, I don't know. Let's see. Okay, guys, guys, it's been a minute. Not for you guys, but for me. Okay, so after dropping off the order from Paisanos, we got this one from Five Guys on Grubhub. I know, right? I think it was paying ten forty two for like four miles. Jumped on it. Why not? And then after I dropped that off, I got bombarded with trash on DoorDash. And then this one came along here from Wendy's and Santini's on Grubhub again, paying fifteen and some change for like three miles. We got the orders picked up. So, you know, Grubhub, when it hits, it hits, okay? But it doesn't hit often enough for me to be like, ah, oh, you know, let's do it. Although, I know, I, I definitely will co-sign the belief that if you take orders on Grubhub, they'll feed you more orders. That's that's definitely a thing for sure. 
Um, but you know, the problem is, there's a lot of garbage now, even on Grubhub, because you know, you know, they're not, you know, that's not moving. If I see like a order, whatever that, whatever it's coming on Grubhub, that doesn't move, you know. So, yeah. Anyways, we got both of those orders picked up. We're on our way to drop them off. Current time is six ten, and I'm not even sure where we're at money wise, but I would like to think that we're almost at a hundred, if not already there. But it's on the screen for you guys. Let me get this dropped off. We'll see you guys in a few. Get the orders dropped off there from Wendy's and Santini's. Now, I think we're sitting at like $91 maybe. And we have our next order here from DoorDash from Silver Diner. $7.75, a little under three miles. I just took it because it came through right away. I figured, hey, why not? Current time is 6.30. So we still got plenty of time here, at least three hours left here in Reston. So I think $150 should not be out of reach. Hopefully we can make that happen. Okay, guys, it looks like things are heating up here because we have two orders. I know, right? Uh, both of them paying nine bucks or higher. Uh, one from Santini's. I think it was paying like nine seventy-five for like four or five miles. That one I was kind of on the fence when I came to it. I'm like, you know what? It's high paying, high paying, like you know, almost ten bucks. I would consider that high paying. Uh, and you know, who knows if I decline that, then I might not get something that's decent for a while. And then when I was parking, they gave me a stack from Bar Taco. I think also paying nine twenty-five. For like less than three miles so jumped on those both of those orders were ready and this will put us a dollar closer a couple dollars closer here to 150 so that's the ultimate goal right to leave here at 150 bare minimum so we're going to try and make that happen let's go okay, guys and just when i thought hey it's getting busy those last two orders went up both of them were paying at least 12 dollars right and then it just died so i don't know if i'm being throttled there's no way excuse me no one's ordering food right now there's no way it's almost 8 p.m. and I think we're sitting around 121, 122, give or take. So we're like almost there at 150, and it's slow. So yeah, that kind of sucks. So I'm just gonna, I guess, just wait. I'm kind of just wanna, I'm gonna walk around actually. I feel like I've been sitting for a while, and doing right sure. I know for a fact I'm gonna be sitting for a while. So I think I'm just gonna walk around the town center, hoping to get an order. So we'll see you guys hopefully soon. Again, current time is basically it's 7:55, 7:55, and we need like 26 more dollars. Or whatever it is to get to 150 let's go okay guys it is currently 1105 we did not do any more doordash or grubhub I and mean, it was i think i waited or i went like 40 minutes without getting an order and the one that i got was trash but you know what let me go home have late dinner spend some time with the fam that's what i did and then we've been out here for about five minutes and we got our first ride here nothing crazy uh, it's paying the minimum like 765 it's going like i think barely a mile maybe two miles if that we're basically around the corner from the rider so yeah i'm just happy to be doing something to be honest and i had my beanie on earlier so i have all this beanie hair um but yeah it's getting kind of chilly today so the beanie will come in handy later so yeah anyway that's all i got for right now again the goal is to make 300 bucks but if we can make 250 hey we'll take it We'll see you guys in the first ride it dropped off your hair energy low-key my energy like she was like i don't really feel like going out but this guy i'm talking to and i'm in my mind i'm like i don't really feel like going out but i'm already out and that was kind of her like she was like i'm already out so might as well go so she was going literally from like near like boston mall to like the bars and then she was like i feel so old i don't want to talk to people and it was funny because in my mind i'm like she can't be that old she didn't look that old and she was like, I think it was like 25 or something like that. But anyways, dropped her off. Wish her a good night. She wished me a good night. Um, and she's like, maybe we'll see you in two hours. And I'm like, maybe you will. But anyways, we got our next rider here. We're almost at her location. It's going to DC. It's not paying much, but honestly, I just want to do something. I feel like I, for the last like two and a half hours, like at least gig wise, it's been super dead for me. So yeah. Anyways, we're at least going to make like, I think 11 or $12, whatever it was. Uh, and it's not very far and there's no traffic. So there's that so, Anyways, I'll see you guys. This rider dropped off in DC. I don't know what's going on in DC right now, but there's cops everywhere uh, We dropped off Miss Paula from Brazil uh, To El Centro, which is actually the spot that I was at with my buddies last weekend uh, Now my phone's going off right now, but while I was about to drop her off I got a next rider here from Arlington going back to DC. I'm like five minutes away from where he's at uh, but yeah, DC is already wild and I don't know what's going on. There's cops everywhere. The thing with DC is there's so many different kinds of cops in DC and I feel like most of them don't really care about traffic, you know, but I'm sure they have their own traffic 
cops within DC, but there's just so many different types, you know. But anyways, that's basically the update. We was jamming to some reggaeton, you know, um, because that's why they play at Centro anyway. So you know, kind of like get her ready. But she's been there before. It's a nice spot in Georgetown. There really, really isn't much here besides that in Georgetown. So yeah. Anyway, so we're we're about five minutes away here from the next pickup. We'll see you guys there. Let's go. Okay, guys, update time. It's 12:40. And I don't remember the last time that we updated each other or well, updated you guys, but I think we did two rides here. Um, but we're back in Arlington, which is great. Awesome. Now, I don't know. It doesn't feel slow, but it doesn't feel busy either. Then again, it, it just all depends. It's all luck, you know, especially like when you drop someone off. It's, it's all about where you are and where they're at and if it makes sense and all that good stuff. Um, so I'm just going to find a place to park real quick and then just kind of wait and see what's up. I am by Clarendon, so I think I should be able to find a ride. If not, we'll give it a few minutes and we'll relocate, but pretty good. I'm not even sure where we're at money-wise. I would like to think that we are over 150. <laughs> Hopefully, almost at 175, 200. I don't know. It's on the screen. We're having a good night. Let's go. Hey guys, today is just not... I'm, tonight, I'm just way off with accepting a ride, recording right away. I'm off. My bad. My bad. I think we did a quick short one in Clarendon. Um, and then we had one from Georgetown to Alexandria, if I'm not mistaken. It's not the greatest rides, but to be honest, I'm just, I like, I'm active, I'm active, you know what I mean? I'm active. Um, but yeah, so anyways, now we're making our way here towards DC. It's currently 1.30. So this is a time where, you know, people like to go home or start to, you know, start going home and whatnot. Money-wise, I don't even know where we're at, man. I'm just going to try and look at it real quick. Um... I want to say like around 180 maybe just eyeballing it here just guessing literally so but yeah let me know how your night went or how your Saturday or Friday went because tomorrow we're only going to be doing a little bit of gig work I'm not even sure if I'm going to record um maybe I will why not you know but that's the update for right now we'll see you guys in a bit that's okay guys it's been a few days I forgot to do the outro so we did a few more rides on Friday night or Friday night or Saturday morning technically within power uh did not even get to 250 um, it'll be on the screen Saturday didn't do much gig work at all to be honest and it was gonna work for my w2 for some overtime So do a little bit of dashing. I didn't really record. I think we made like not even 50 bucks It's only out for like two hours. It wasn't that bad um, And then the same thing Sunday today Watch a lot of football right now. My commanders are about to lose. We're down by a touchdown There's like a minute left in the game um, But I'm like what is the outro right now? I'm gonna forget so also did a little bit of gig work right now, but did not record. My camera's been having all these issues. So I think we're gonna, I mean, I'm gonna throw the screenshots hopefully, but really wasn't much, maybe a hundred dollars between the last two days. Um, but yeah, anyways, we're gonna like and subscribe. We'll see you on the next one. Stay safe, peace.